Hi everybody! Today's video is all about by Rito perfumes. I got a DM from someone asking me to talk a little bit about them because it is nearly impossible to uh, sample them or smell them in real life these days. So I'm going to give you my impressions and tell you what I think of how some of the fragrances smell. Now, Byredo is, I guess, a high-end perfume brand that was launched in Stockholm, Sweden. It was started in 2006, so it's pretty new, um, very modern. The person behind the brand is Ben Gorham, and he is not a perfumer, but he works with another perfumer, a perfumer company, to kind of formulate scents that he is interested in that remind him of stuff that bring back memories for him so that's what the brand is it is a unisex perfume brand and i mentioned that because there isn't anything in the packaging or the marketing that kind of says whether something is feminine or masculine it's really about how you wear it and what you think about it um, and i think the perfumes really are classically unisex perfumes which is kind of nice a little bit more modern um and there's no push from marketing towards women wearing it or men wearing it so that's kind of nice um they started with just perfumes and now they've expanded into bath and body products so you can buy hand wash you can buy uh hand cream you can buy shampoo conditioner um candles you know and they've even turned um They've teamed up with Way to launch a dry shampoo with one of their scents as well. So lots of different ways of experiencing the scent. Obviously, perfume is what they are known for. So maybe after this video, you'll be able to decide whether you want to buy a bottle or a candle or sample sets or a decant. Um, what have you. I know I first heard of the brand in 2010. I was traveling and I went into this, you know, really upscale perfume store and they said, oh, Michelle Obama wears Byredo. And so that's when I first heard about it. I ended up not buying anything then, but I was able to really smell a whole bunch of the perfumes and get an idea of what they were all about. So Let's get into it. I will start with Blanche, which is the first perfume that I have from them. This is a perfume oil that I bought online. This is a blind buy. I've mentioned it many times before on Instagram. And this is a classic clean smell. I think I bought this because it was supposed to be a bestseller and people really enjoyed it. But personally, I think it smells like warm laundry. It smells like Tide. It's very clean smelling, but like a warm, clean scent. So if that's something that you like, maybe you really enjoy that clean, fresh scent, then this is for you. Personally, that's not something that I would buy perfume for because I smell it all the time when I do laundry. This, these roll-on oils cost me over $100, so they're not cheap, and a Byredo bottle will be $280, $300. So none of these fragrances are cheap, and I think for that price point, I want something that's a little bit more unique, personally. I mean, I get that you're buying something that's um, kind of niche and it's a little bit... Uh, more high-end it looks really great on your vanity but to get something that just smells like warm laundry personally that's not what I would like so that's the first one that I'm going to talk about the other perfume oil I have is Mojave Ghost which is right here I love this one this one is definitely more feminine um, I really like this I actually wear this every night well, I just started wearing this every night. I haven't made much of a dent in it, but these perfume oils have really, really good lasting power. I would say that they have better lasting power than a spray, and they wear really, really close to your skin, which is a nice thing. This has almost no projection, but it smells almost exactly like Marc Jacobs Daisy. So if you liked Marc Jacobs Daisy, you know, Daisy was launched around the same time, um, if you liked Marc Jacobs Daisy, maybe you wore it, I wore it tons, um, then this would be for you. And if you want something that's a little bit of an upgrade from Daisy, this would be a great option. You know, Daisy is very young to me. It smells, maybe because I wore it when I was younger, but it smells more um, 
brash. Like it just is more in your face. Daisy has really great projection. You can really smell it and pinpoint it right away. This is more of a skin scent, even though it does really have the same dry down as Daisy. Um, the notes for this are Magnolia, Ambergris and the dry down and musk. And um, Daisy and this have the same synthetic musk, which is really nice. Like I really like Mojave Ghost. I would prefer this over the Daisy because like I said, Daisy is a little bit more feminine, more floral, and this is more kind of chill. So I like this a little bit more, but it does smell like Daisy. If you can't afford this, you could just buy the Daisy. Why not, right? So that's Mojave Ghost. The other one that I have is Super Cedar, and I just have the sample size right here. This was um, an Eau de Parfum spray that I got from somewhere. Now, I loved Super Cedar. It has top notes of rose and then a dry down of, or it has cedar in the, in the middle, and then it has a dry down of vetiver. It is very um, dry. It's um, kind of mild. It, again, is a skin scent. I love how it smells, but I would say that it's more of a layering scent because it doesn't smell very strong. It doesn't really have a very um, strong character. So if you, I mean, I love it and I like it, but again, it's not in your face and it doesn't smell very distinctive. So if you're looking for something distinctive, this is not going to be it. This is great for adding a layer of, of dry freshness to yourself, which is sometimes what you like, right? Personally, I like the Super Cedar way more than Blanche, and you can kind of use them in the same ways, but I would definitely like this over the other two that I've mentioned. I just think it's still more unique. So even though people say they can't smell it that much, it really doesn't have that much projection, um, it's still more unique than the other two. One smells like Daisy and one smells like laundry detergent. So far, we haven't really found anything that's um, remarkable. Okay, lastly, uh, Gypsy Water. There it is right there. Again, I have an Eau de Parfum spray. As you can imagine, this is more of a warm, ambery fragrance. It has um, notes of incense, pine needles, and then it has a dry down that has sandalwood, amber, and vanilla in it. So it's warm. It's a little bit sweet. It's smoky because of the incense. So if you like an incense perfume, this is really a nice one. Oh, I love how this smells. This one is definitely my favorite. Gypsy Water. Yes, all the way yes. It's unique. It's different. Um... It has good projection. It has great lasting power because of the vanilla and the amber. Um, anything that has um, vanilla and amber just seems to stick to my skin. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. With this, it really does work well. Anything with musk in the dry down is also gonna be a skin scent, but it's gonna be skin in a more subtle way. So these guys are definitely more subtle. This super cedar is so dry that it disappears more quickly. And then this sticks in a more sweet, ambery kind of way, which is great. So those are the Byritos. Um, Bal d'Afrique is another one that I've tried that I really, really loved. It's spicy. It just is um, transportive in a way because it just takes you to a different place and I love that also. Um, but if I was gonna get something, I wouldn't get Blanche, and I probably would not put my money on Mojave Ghost. I mean, no one can see what you're wearing, so if you're wearing Daisy or you're wearing Mojave Ghost, you're kind of getting the same vibe. But Gypsy Water and Super Cedar, I like a lot more. So that's it, that's what I have for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.